The world of Padverse has fallen into chaos. The once world-expanding nation of the Northmen has imploded, giving rebirth to the land of Lemongrab and Pableon. With the Northmen losing power and their hold on the world quickly, the many nations around them joined in on the chaos and declared war. While the land of Lemongrab was fighting for independence, the Alliance Power of People joined in to help, pushing the Northmen further and further into a corner in the old Lemongrab territory. In the south, the Alliance Our League continues to show their brutal power by absolutely destroying any hope of the once mighty Bubblegum Kingdom, although taking heavy losses to the Green Lode territories. Now let's consider this week's vote results. With Pableon, Lemongrab, and the Bubblegum Kingdom all trying to sabotage the Swarm. With all of their attempts failing, the Swarm remains the strongest nation in Padverse, where the Swarm, Hoxus, and the Mushroom Kingdom all voted to sabotage the land of Lemongrab, with the Mushroom Kingdom's attempt being successful. We'll see which cities rebel in a second. The Northmen being attacked from all angles decided to remove one of the fights from their equation by declaring peace on the land of Lemongrab, granting them their independence. Meanwhile, in the south, the Green Lord has once again declared war on the Bubblegum Kingdom, hoping to finish off what they started. Let's see how this plays out. So now we gotta implement the votes. We got the Lemon Grab over here, or rather the Northmen declaring peace on them. So if I do that, there we go. The Annoyed Unrest has ended. Looking at the village layer, I spun the wheel twice, resulting in a Onesin's Rebellion, as well as Goli Dran, which especially while not being at war with the Northmen, they should be able to handle that. And then I gotta do the Whisper of War for the Green Load onto the Bubblegum Kingdom. They are not in a good spot right now, especially going up against the Green Load. Because although the Green Load is massively weakened, and they'd be able to put up a fight alone, but the Swarm is massive right now being the number one nation in the world right now with 96 soldiers i was really hope at least one of the rebellions worked out targeted towards the swarm because that would really help out bubblegum the year is currently 67 and we're not even halfway through the age of chaos uh so it looks like the wait why would the, what the lemon grabs are still taking Yalud. if we look at the wars list yeah the northmen are at war with the lemon grab you think their soldiers would stop and go home i guess they were in the middle of the conquest and they didn't want to stop it looks like goli dran is getting taken back over by the lemon grab and a once and actually took over a Winsk? Oh snap, dude. What if they successfully rebel? They could always declare peace. It looks like Golidran's also fending off their attackers, although on fire and kind of destroyed. <laughs> the war between the Hoxus, the Northmen, and the Mushroom Kingdom is still waging on though. There are two massive fires going on throughout the Northmen at the moment, burning down the, their farmland. Oh no. We got a Hoxus soldier in here killing some Northmen children. That's always a pleasant sight to see. Love to see it. Yes, yes. Looking down at the Bubblegums, it looks like the Bubblegum Kingdom is actually sending out a little military of 10. I don't Oh, they should really stay and defend. I wish the world box AI was smart enough to kind of strategize like that, but they just got to throw armies at each other. It looks like the swarm has a little army, but they seem to be retreating home for some reason. Where the green load is sending out a military of 28 all the way over to the bubblegums. Hello there, little people. It is not looking good for the bubblegum kingdom, especially because their bloodline only has one dude. This man, Mibete. Mibeti. He needs to have children and then send those children out to like conquer one of the human things so then he, they can kind of like spread the bubblegum blood. But they're not not going to they're running out of time they got a mil they got two militaries marching their way whoa huge earthquakes going on right over here taking out some of the city of wamabe that's pretty cool it looks like the land of lemon grab is pushing deep into a onesen taking back their city <laughs> Goli Drain was also retaken over. Oh, look at all oh, the capital is being taken over by a Wonson, though, as their little military retreated to fight back the Lemon Grabs. The Mushroom Kingdom has actually taken a territory from the Northmen, where the Northmen's capital is under siege. 5% taken over by the, the Mushroom people, they're in here fighting. I guess I could turn up the speed now to one. There we go. People are moving around normal speed now. The Hoxus are also moving in a big army up into the Northmen. If it wasn't for the Mushroom Kingdom, the Hoxus would probably clear out the Northmen and just destroy every city in their way. Look how big the Mushroom Kingdom's getting. However, the northman does have a military of 15 right here just chilling they're killing some of the, the mushroom people and if they're walking into the capital here they have a high likelihood of taking it i can't believe a once is still alive they're still fighting for freedom over here behind the trees don't hide behind the trees it's bad for content wait war forced thought of gibby hegemony has ended who is that between oh that was a once rebellion I, i'm just blind i didn't notice that it was taken over looking down south there's a massive fight going on holy balls whoa what just happened a massive meteor just landed down next to pableon which is expanding more south. Ooh, 
And Pableon is planning a war? Plots and plans planning war with who? Against the land of Lemon Grab? Why would they do that? Why? I guess we'll see how that goes. I think that bubblegum army that was left here, they all just burned to death. I don't know what caused all, the, all, the, all of those soldiers to combust into flames, but it, it's, it happened. Slowly but surely, the Orcish army continues to run over to the bubblegums. They just made it to the bubblegum sea, or whatever this is called. The Northmen is fighting to survive? They actually took over the Mushroom Kingdom's capital, and now they're rushing into the new Mushroom Kingdom's capital. However, the Hoxus, holy crap, the Hoxus. They are a mighty ally at the moment for the Mushroom Kingdom, as they're going to help defend their capital against the Northmen. As well as they're in the Northmen's capital, just destroying everything. <laughs> They're all dying. King Lehe of Pableon is dead. Oh, does that mean that the plan for war has stopped? Plus and plans. Yeah, it stopped because he died. <laughs> That's funny. However, House Pab continues to grow with now four members, and three of them are leading some Pableon cities. I think the Pableon is actually run by, yeah, a Northman. A Northman King. House Loki. A Dochu. Hopefully he doesn't declare war like the other guy wanted to. It looks like a huge army of the elves are rushing right now, straight into the Bubblegum Kingdom. Which, they have amassed quite an army, dude. Look at that. Hopefully they're able to fend them off. I don't want the Bubblegum to die yet. Oh no, Anaporo! It's cut down to three population! It's on fire against the friggin' orcs! They all got rage, they're burning. That is not good, dude. They're getting wrecked right now. What, what is this? What the frick is this guy? He must be because of the, the Age of Chaos. What is that, dude? Some crazy looking demon thing. He's got a stick. He's fireproof, fire blood, burning feet. 766 health and the orcs have almost killed him. Six kills. Whoa, dude. He may have just saved the bubblegums in like a weird way. Burning and killing a lot of the orcish army there. If they're able to... Why, why are they on fire too? No, no, survive, please. This is like all of them survive. Is the bloodline even there? No, dude, I think the bubblegum bloodline has perished. It's, I think it's gone. House Bubblegum. <gasps> Wait, it lives? There's three of them now. Okay, so three of them are alive. Uh, all right then. <laughs> Hopefully they stay alive. They got what? Seven soldiers against the orcs. Uh, new 21 soldier young army. All right. Uh, so they're screwed. Udaporo was destroyed, dude. Rough. It looks like the Northman is reclaiming the Lemon Grab Kingdom's territory. Well, Saru, Drun. No, they're defending. They're defending against it. However, there are dwarves up here killing them. The Mushroom Kingdom and the Northmen are just kind of going back and forth right now in territory. It looks like the Hawks is, is in here helping out the Mushroom Kingdom trying to reclaim some of their lost territory because they can't do it themselves. Meanwhile, the Lemon Grab and Pableon is just mad vibing while the rest of the world burns in agony. What? The Bubblegum Kingdom has a group of four soldiers. Uh, wait, is this the king? No, I get. Uh, he just looks like royalty. <laughs> Look at him. He's like shiny. It says a group of four, but I only see two dudes. Uh, and I guess they're marching over to the Green Low to give him, give him a good old one too. Okay, a meteor just landed <laughs> right on this city. Oh, poor Pableon citizens just got absolutely wrecked. The bubblegum kingdom is burning down, dude. They're screwed. I don't know what else to say. This doesn't exactly look like they're doing good, you know, with more soldiers walking in to destroy them. Uh. The king is currently a child. Uh -huh. Where House Bubblegum has lost another member. I guess we'll follow the child. Your bloodline is losing. That'd be cool if they were able to like seek refuge with a, a, an ally or something. Uh, too bad they don't have allies. Oh no, the orc just, th there's an orc killing him. No, not the king. <laughs> With that, what? This guy's the last of the bloodline? This child. Yeah, ka. All right, we're following him. Oh, he's he's hiding in a tent. At least he's smarter than the other kid. Man, this is a this is a terrible sight to see. Just the utter desecration. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Earthquake somewhere. With the last of the bloodline uh, being the last population of bubblegum. Being in a tent that's about to be broken. Meanwhile, the Northmen is actually collapsing right now. With the Mushroom Kingdom taking the last two of their territories. Let's watch this poor little kid die. Together, how romantic. If they can ever break the tent, this tent is impenetrable. <laughs> the king... Oh, the kingdom, the Northmen was destroyed. I'm too busy watching the, the, the poor little, the poor little bubblegum kid get killed. The Northmen has been destroyed. Holy balls. The huge conquest of Hoxus has ended. Uh, I would argue that it's the huge conquest of the Mushroom Kingdom, even though Hoxus definitely carried. <laughs> also, while the bubblegum kingdom is dying, uh, both the Pableon and the Lemon Grabs are planning on war. And Pableon's, it, it's actually about to go through. Planning a war against the bubblegum kingdom? Bro, you gotta be kidding me right now. Why? Why would you even do that? Uh, it's not gonna go through anyway. The bubblegum kingdom is about to die. Oh, the lemon crabs are planning a war against the mushroom kingdom. That's gonna be insane, dude. All right, well, uh, now that we know what's going on in the rest of the world, let's uh, again watch this child die. If this tent ever breaks, dude, come on. Three hours later. Oh, oh, there it goes. Oh no! Run, run! Oh, he died behind the friggin' lollipop. 
Oh, that's it, dude. That means the Bubblegum Kingdom is the first one to perish as they all chill in the farmland. The first kingdom to actually be eliminated, like truly eliminated. The bad conquest has ended. I think that's the Pavlion's war against the Bubblegum. <laughs> the mad battle of Green Load has ended and the Bubblegum Kingdom was destroyed. A moment in silence for our fellow candy citizens. For anybody who just died in this kingdom, hit up the Discord right now and learn what you can do next. Because you're not just out. I mean, you are out of, like, you can't win anymore, but you have things to do. Learn more on the Discord. And the world is in peace. Wow. I can't believe it. How beautiful the world is in the age of chaos. <laughs> Oh, we got an Orcish city planning on rebellion. That's good, because the orcs are too strong right now, honestly. <laughs> oh, so is Pavlion. Uh-oh, that's not good. And the Lemon Grab's war against the Mushroom Kingdom is about to commence. Alliances have stayed the same the entire game, pretty much. Oh, and that was a cool meteor. Oh, 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 the war has started. Where both of their armies are colliding immediately. The Lemon Grab's looking at the kingdoms. Okay, the land of Lemon Grab's actually first. With 168 soldiers? You gotta be kidding me right now. That's insane, dude. That is, they, I didn't realize how much more powerful they were 571 population that is crazy the mushroom kingdom in second place with uh, quite a bit of population still but not even half the military power however they do have a strong ally with the hoxus being 292 population with 88 soldiers so between the both of them they should be able to do decent but the mushroom kingdom being on the front lines is definitely gonna get wrecked here <laughs> ah frick <laughs> And it looks like Pavlion has stopped their little rebellion. And so has the orcs. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wait. No, wait. What? Did I turn off my visibility of it? Oh, I did. That's awkward. Oh, have I had this off the whole time? That's so cool. So the lemon grabs do be attacking the mushroom kingdom. There's so much going on on the screen right now. I kind of like it in a weird, complicated way. Uh, here's a huge army going on. Who started? Who <laughs> I like how every single time they have a little fight, they just burn everything to the ground. Look how many soldiers are moving around here. This is wild. Holy balls, dude. That is an army and a half. And they're just marching straight into the capital of the of the mushroom kingdom it's a blitzkrieg oh and the orcs civil war has commenced with papan leading the rebellion they have three decent sized cities with those orc not really counting because it's eight population but they might be able to take red dan here maybe the capital the swarm they're definitely not going to hold back with their soldiers although it doesn't seem like they have many soldiers i want to see the comparison wars the uprising of the green petada okay so the green petada which is purple has seven warriors where the swarm has 31 i don't know what happened what happened to all their soldiers <laughs> what they have about like half the population but i uh, we've seen bigger comebacks and it looks like chodu is also re rebelling against pavlion which looking at this war we got 37 warriors on pavlion oh snap so chodu is actually more powerful however less populous interesting we'll see how that one goes uh meanwhile the mushroom kingdom is uh, uh it needs help from the hawks that's for sure the lemon grabs military is just vibing in here that is i can't believe how many soldiers this is that's bonkers to me there's a ton of skirmishes going on all along the border at least there was uh this is just kind of the remnants of it where the hoxus is slowly but surely moving its army out of the mountains to help their ally who is in dire need of help the orcish civil war rages on uh it's gonna be a while before like we can kind of see a winner form i think i don't know orc on orc it's always hard to tell because they're both so powerful uh and they're starting a war in their jungle <laughs> oh it's a beautiful sight to see i don't think the rebellion's gonna last something tells me as they're getting taken over uh meanwhile pa the pavlion empire is falling right now they are falling to a rebellion with the capital of Pavlion that is run by a lemon grab. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is getting complicated. House Lemon Grab really rules over the Mushroom Kingdom right now, since the royal bloodline of the Mushroom Kingdom doesn't actually exist. Which means if the Mushroom Kingdom dies right now, that means they're dead. Like they're 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 out of the game, just like the Bubblegums. Which would be atrocious to have two nations lose in one video. No way. The Hoxus military is finally making their way out of the mountain. Hopefully that can save them. I don't know, dude. Looking at this war, it's still so one-sided. The land of lemon grab has really only gotten more powerful a surprisingly little amount of deaths though on both sides i thought there would be way more killed there we go the swarm just kicked out that old rebellion and immediately the orcs are planning another rebellion <laughs> I can't believe Pavlion's getting dominated right now. House Pab still lives on though, which is good, I guess. <laughs> Three of them are only citizens right now in the new empire, where Hoena is the only one as a leader in this in one of these cities. It'll be hard for Pavlion to kind of rise to power again after this, I think. The Green Load is declaring war against Pavlion, dude. Rough. I'm surprised there's not a rebellion going on in uh, the land of Lemon Grab with how massive it is. It's kind of like the Northmen 2.0. This is the last city of the Mushroom Kingdom. Once this is taken over, since they don't have a bloodline, they're just out they're out that's it that's it they're, where's the hoxus hoxus help them they're, that's it that they're gone alliance power of people was dissolved the mushroom kingdom was destroyed the great war of the land of lemon grab has ended you mean even though they were out i guess the alliance dissolved which means the hoxus just like wasn't at war with them anymore you think the war would continue but i, 
guess not. That's rough, dude. Two casualties in this episode. And it looks like Pavlion's fighting back against the, the Chubo or whatever. If I go to Kingdoms, Ch Chodu. Chodu. <laughs> That's rough for Pavlion. The Green Lotus being so smart declaring war on them when they're in the middle of a massive rebellion. And they're not exactly winning either. The Green Lotus is just gonna walk in here and kill them. Holy crap, dude. Zooming out and seeing... Oh, hold on! Wait, wait, wait! Let's go to the village layer so we can kind of see the borders and what's going on. We got the kings fighting. Who's this? Donkey's in here fighting. He's a hundred years old. Fighting for his kingdom, dude. Respect on him, I guess. Papon is getting taken over. Oz is. They're defending. This rebellion has a much greater chance at winning, I think. And it looks like the Green Lord has now declared war on Padleon, where they got an army of 35, 38, and 28, all moving straight into Andran. Which they also have Chodu soldiers in here. Padleon's so screwed, dude. This is all Chodu. Padleon's so dead. That's ridiculous. The Green Lord's not even gonna destroy it. They just ran in here, started burning stuff down, and then uh, uh, Chodu took it. And now all their armies are gonna both simultaneously run into Laceus. <laughs> <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> Hoxus continues to move south. I, I bet you they'll be the first ones to grab up all the bubblegum land, which is kind of sad because you can see all the ruins left behind of the once great culture and nation. The swarm's still having a hard time with the rebellion. Oh, multiple wars just ended, it looked like? Yeah, right now the only war is the rebellion of the orcs, which means uh, Pableon has crumbled <laughs> once again. However, I believe House Pab does live on. Yes, with three people. They are literally only citizens, though. We'll see how long they last. Like, this guy's a soldier. He's like, the next war is just gonna run in and kill himself. Oh, how the the royal bloodline has fallen so the world's in peace and we're gonna be ending the age of chaos here in 26 moons i don't think the swarm is gonna win this i uh no shot there's only been 54 dead dude no way well i guess with numbers like two soldiers and 19 soldiers i, I guess anything's possible but like 213 population 202 population you think well, a war like this between them would have m many more deaths i don't know it's going back and forth a lot you think that their ally would run in and help but they're not <laughs> what a good ally yeah look <laughs> how the Alliance has just been kind of split here. That's funny. A massive earthquake just went through and destroyed this little lemon grab town. <laughs> Poor little Apanva. Just like that, a rebellion is starting in Itchius, which makes sense. There's no way a rebellion wasn't going to start in the land of lemon grab with how massive it is. The Hoxus continues to move south. There's a huge race right now towards the bubblegum. Dude, they're losing. The swarm is losing. The swarm is, the swarm's losing. They got what? Reckon that's it? And just like that, the new age has arose or arisen. The age of sun, which what is the next age there? The age of dark. Ooh. This is a great place to end it. Well, kind of a weird place to end it, but we're ending it here. Where the orcs are gonna have an interesting vote, as this is their this is this is the, this is them. We'll see what Pableon tries to do if they want to rebel. Same with the Northmen, where House Pab lives on, House Shrek lives on. It looks like House Donkey actually perished. Rough, dude. That means what? Everybody's down to one house, other than what the Northmen and the Green Lode. The Green Lode has both of them as well as the Northmen. That's it. I know it kind of seems like the houses stick around a lot, but we've lost about half of them if not more. It's just when you look at House Odin with 10 members throughout all of these different towns and kingdoms, it's gonna be a while for them to be exterminated. Maybe uh, many, 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 many ages to come. Remember to go vote. Check out the Discord if you haven't yet already. Peace out, peeps.